friends welcome to my workplace for hands on feco and sics training let us observe this totally unedited recording of feco specification this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis the main incision is made with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus the patient is under topical anesthesia Phenocaine, which contains gylocaine, tropicamide, and phenylephrine, is injected. And then the anterior chamber is filled off with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Capsular excess is done with the help of a uterator forceps. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around, keeping a certain distance away from the pupillary border to get a round rexus. Now, hydrodissection is done with 27 gauze cannula and BSS. Hydrodilination is not done. Visco again to fill up the anterior chamber. Now let us see direct job. The phacon needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel off. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped into pieces. Each free nuclear fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 65%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last nuclear piece. At this time the vacuum is 350 and flow rate 35. Done. Nucleus is managed. And now cortical cleanup is to be done. Visco to fill up the capsular bag. And now a 23 gauze Simco cannula is being used for cortical cleanup. Simcoe cannula is kept ready with a separate bottle of BSS. As I hand over the FECO handpiece, the assistant hands over this Simcoe cannula to me. So by the time she gets ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration, the cortical cleanup is almost done. It saves a lot of time. This is a very safe instrument and I use it in many situations. And now the posterior capsule is polished by the irrigating jet of fluid. In this case we have selected a single piece monofocal hydrophobic intraocular lens from Johnson and Johnson. It is sensor on a beautiful intraocular lens. I am using a B cartridge so the main wound is enlarged by point on or point 2 millimeter to get the wound size of about 2.9 or, two, or 3 millimeter. Now hydro implantation of a sensor on intraocular lens is done. The irrigating cannula goes through the 
main wound and the lens is placed in the back. So, we haven't used Sinsky hook for placing the intraocular lens in the back. And now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration on either side of the side port. And then a final lavage of the interior chamber is done. A gentle stream of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium to remove the visco that sticks to the back of the cornea. The capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber is irrigated, anterior chamber is formed very nicely with the help of the Simco cannula. Integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.